Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the big, big picture, picture. <laughs> where we help you see, think, and act big. And this, this is, is episode, episode 36. 36. And, and welcome everyone. We're live in face, uh, live in Facebook. And uh, for you guys who are subscribing to the Big Picture Podcast, this will be in the Big Picture Podcast. Um, it's pretty soon, probably yeah. like two, three weeks from now. And right now we're uh, we're interviewing. Um, he he coined himself as the chief troublemaker of his studio, his of his uh, of his company. And the name of the company is White Brick Creative Studio. And his name. Ladies and gentlemen, is Jude Chrysostomo. Welcome, Hi, Jude. Jude. Hello. Hi. So, <laughs> Jude, thank you so much for for being here. I know it's short notice, but you're here, and you know we are so excited to tell your story. Well, not us, but you will tell your story to our audience because we believe, Dave and I believe that people will really learn a lot from your path. You know, your 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 story, the way the way you think, and part of what we do here in the big picture is we actually break down things that are very effective in one's, in your life so that other people, like the people who are listening in this podcast or viewing this video will learn from that from you and they can make their lives so much better, right? Yeah, and I just learned uh, the company is actually fairly new, right? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. correct. Because he was working on their purpose right. and all. But, <laughs> but the thing is, yes, well, in the big picture, we try to invite uh, the, those who, people who are relatable because they're just a couple of steps ahead. Right. So that way people can easily like, you know, oh, yeah, I can do that. So how sure. about we start with your uh, story, how this White Brick Creative Studio ca- came to came be. To you be can be. go as far back <laughs> as you like. Right. Okay, okay. Uh, um, it started off um, 2014. Um, that was the, I believe, the, the last year I was, in, like, I was employed. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, uh, okay, 2014, the, the company I worked with um, suddenly closed down. From, from that from that moment, I decided, um, mag trabaho pa ko or should I go abroad or mag trabaho tiwas apply or mag padayon ko sa business or mo pursue ko kanang business na. What was your profession kay. at that time? Um, I was a uh, a graphic designer, but um, I was promoted as a quality manager, so I, I make sure all the creatives um adhere to quality or standards, right. international standards. So, um. Um, I decided na to pursue uh, a business path, so oh. I created a design studio with my wife. So we called it November Creative Studio, but uh, it was November. Yeah, yeah. It but it was okay. Like, it was short lived because I, I gave it to my sister. Okay. <laughs> I have but, a, I have a question about. Yeah, sorry go. to cut you off. No, but no, no, I have okay. a question about your decision to to start a business because you know when when um the normal instinct when when a company closes down and you're employed in the company and. You, you know, you 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 don't have work anymore. The normal instinct would, would probably be like look for another job. It's the yeah. easiest thing to do, right? Um, but why why is building a business something that you've considered? Okay, um, looking back at the history of creatives, there is a Cebu, like especially BPOs, like na mga like businesses nga nag offer services uh, offshore. So mo open sila and suddenly mo close na sila. So I I had friends na. They had a hard time looking for stable jobs, especially in the creative field. Yeah, Let's yeah, um, apply sila a job, and then next year musira, and then they apply for another job. So I I got tired of that things, but like um, I think making a business is more secure <laughs> than. Wow, that's up- the first time I've heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah. mean, mas secure siya as compared na mga apply ko, and then suddenly musira siya, yeah. mga apply na ko, and then I can't really plan for my future. So. Um, if mo make a business, it's on me. If mo sira siya, ako ang sa. If mo 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 lambo siya, ako ang sa sa niya. Okay, so I have, a, I have a question. Where did this courage to to even think the audacity, but to even think that way? Because a lot of people they don't really have that. It's not a normal response, bitaw. You know? Yeah, yeah. Did you somehow like who influenced you, or did you read a book, or, or, or like did you have a business before? Or how does that? Ko um, siya. My my father was a businessman. Good. And then we're we're a family of, um, to be honest, uh, ako ang mga fam- sa families, no no one was no one is employed right now. Oh, so right. sa lima mga so on, we have our different fields like uh, uban architect, interior designer, uban kay businessman. So like, um, dilik gid mi mo stay o company dugay because we think mo lagi na mas mas secure and mas free me to to do what we want. Is is this something na uh, kwan that was, kind of like, 
like a philosophy that was that was already still instilled with by you by your father dad or your family well, probably i don't know because growing up makita na akong papa nga like most like daghan ug ups and downs struggles niya nga mm-hmm. the struggle na yang gi, gi go through is because kuan said maybe sayup niya mistake niya and then muna nag struggle siya and then na siya success because there's a sayang gibuhat diba so mer relative ra ang iyang iyang padulngan sa iyang effort okay so you obviously have a role model no growing up yeah. and to now that now you're you're starting a business called November um what happened um kuancha it was supposed to be a, a collaboration with my sisters nga, sister and brother nga kanang creative gapon but um we we find it very kanang di siya di siya bagay ba because lahim good architects and like design creative so never so, build a business with family is that, is that true uh, <laughs> or is it like, oh, like or a friend uh, basin <laughs> basin <laughs> 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 is it is it because kan um, is it because i mean does 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 it have a market or different ja different siya lahi siya i i i i the chemistry the, chemistry, the, chemistry, the, the, the discipline the philosophy lahi siya so i see i see so i believe okay. mutong mas mayo nga dili lang but Um, ko na, gi-invite mo sa akong friend before nga di, uh, sa pagdiri mo na sa November, gi-invite ko sa akong friend na maghimo mi og katong agency which is katong Quick Fire. Right. Yeah, so uh, ni join in ko. So na bench ang ako ang amo ang goal katong maghimo og design studio. Right. So right. amo na tong giibot nang okay, let's let's work on uh, with our friends na maghimo tag agency. So kato eh. but then um na magitay some point na magitay breaking point. So I I decided na mag Okay, mag sabatical leave. So next, about sabatical leave. So that business failed, and you decided. That, that, no, no, no. Wala, wala siya ni fail. Wala siya ni fail. Are you still existing now? Um, um wala na lang sa jagi padayon. Ah, but, uh, but wala uh, gitcha. Technically, before it, it was, it was doing well. It was doing but, well. But, but, why, why would you, why would you, like, choose to have a sabatical leave? Would is it like the pressure of the work? Delisa, maybe it's because uh, it's it's a personal thing. Like, basing millennial lang siguro jake ko, di ba? Ako na siyang acknowledge. Basing millennial lang siguro jake ko. I think it's common for creatives. Right? I don't know if you've noticed uh, um, that. Uh, like, uh, maybe sa kwan na siguro. I think it's common for everyone, but I think nalang siguro jake ko courage na mag sabatikal ko. Right. Right. How so, long? How long was it? Nagplano ko six months, mm-hmm. but it was cut short because, ang you know, when you go to when you go on sabatikal leave, wala kay income. Kami well, dohas ang wife nag sabatical. Yeah, we so, interviewed someone who yeah. went into sabatical leave for a we'll year. We'll connect that yeah. episode. Right, we'll connect that episode later. So just <laughs> she took a, she took a leave yeah, uh, she, for she, a yeah, year. For a year. Yeah. Um. So my question is, did you? Because what this is what she did. She Planned made a calculation out. of how much she will consume per month. Did you did, did yes. the same thing? Yes. The same thing. Yeah. Nakat short lang siya because duha mong good mis ang wife. So mm. nagkami duha nag sabatical with no income. So right. savings it's declining. Was I'm like. Um, It's really interesting. No, yeah. wife and husband right. are doing. You, you know, that's kind of my dream thing. Like, <laughs> like you know, the dream thing I would do team, with, like with my team. wife and the whole family. Let's so, gang, let's do. So again, we give you hot. So, like, big road well, trip. Really, really, really? Like, cool. exercise. Wow, well, like, well, eat healthy. But, but, sorry, uh, are you still I'm saying? Uh, about yeah, uh, go ahead. Like, um, initially, what was the purpose? Because, like, obviously, there's a purpose of why you want to take this long break, right? What was the like main main purpose? So, unless you go, so like sometimes if 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 there uh, na kay something na ganahan buhaton or na kay vision sa future or mm. like plainly gikapoy lang ka or you have to step back diba tanang, For you tanang. what was it like ganahan yeah. ko mo step back reflect on unsa akong gusto kay I'm like oh. 30 you're not get, we're not right. getting any right. younger so namgo ko yung philosophy nga kun na ka sa early 20s and padung na ka late 20s like you, you still have this um, privilege <laughs> right. na maka decide ka whichever path you wanna go when but you're in your when you're when you're in 30s na lucky in nagiga nga like kailangan na jud ko yeah, mo focus adulting oh, already what, this is the real do? adulting real deal na gini siya la right. padong na kamala pa sa kalendaryo so you have awesome. to decide right now and so it so, did really help it did it really it helps sa kay ni step back ko like i i went to the back seat and ako as a padong so I'm like, right. ah, sige ako gyud reflect and then nakat short siya and decided na sige atong padayon na ng design studio mm. maybe we get something good out of this so, and and this was the 25th 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 creative yeah, yeah. Right. So, pag join na mo sa pag kimo na mo sa 25th, uh, it so happen I also teach at San Carlos so I m- I met this bunch of creative people sa mga creative na faculty. So um uh, nag it so happen nga nag-join me og usa ka office like 
not really us like office split, but us ka split the whole space split the split uh, space yeah ba so but we offer the same uh, rel- relatively the same you're, service you're, you're like competitors dili sad dili sad really? dili sad friends man oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're you're catering to the same market probably yeah yeah, yeah kay Cebu local market oh. so relatively the same services but so it so happen na katong partner sa isa ka studio Okay, mularga siya UK because she's she's gonna study uh, like uh, she's gonna take a master's uh, degree in UK. So um, they decided we decided na okay why not like mag merge nila nta mm. so make this bigger and the services must bigger must more people must more capacity so maybe na future ano ba tayo so dool manila sila ang nag <laughs> process ng <laughs> papers right. so ang funny ato kay after like right after na human ng process at 25 di ba nag merge na sadmi so stressful guys sila kay ah it changed the whole thing change yeah, the whole thing <laughs> there's a lot of uh, how do you call that like uh, legal forth. thing that yeah. you need to work around mm-hmm. right? yeah because changing of the name it's not just that you need there are shares actually involved right oh, so oh, who will handle yeah. the shares so dugay may naka decide kung Magpadayon. It's, it's money, <laughs> basically. So, so, technical judge siya, oh, so sila yes, mag-handle, consult with lawyer. Yeah. So, it, it became very serious ba nga. Ah, this is the, this yeah. is, this is the real deal na gini. Like, so, very, yeah. so, mo to, um, white break, we started went white break, we decided na magpadayon ta, let's merge. So, we made the company in just a month. So, like, everything, branding, name, launch, services, gihash out na mo tanan, mga services nga dili na mo ganahan. Mm. Like, mga, even clients na dili na mo ganahan. Or like, cutting it up. Oh, so amo gyud siyang gipolish according sa amo ang gusto kay maghimo na magita ni let's do it our own way. Right. Right? I think it's very important. Right? Yeah. Uh, I mean have like uh it's like a minimal I don't, I'm not sure if it's yeah. minimalist but it's very specific. Actually, actually delicious minimalist more siya more of more or less clarity. Focus Clar- yeah, focus, like yeah. things na ganahan gyud mi buhaton. Oh, what right. are the things okay let's talk about that so what are the things that you've been doing before and you said like I don't we don't want to do anything with that now with sneak company. Yeah, I think before that, let's uh, let's give our audience uh, a, like uh, a brief introduction of what you do. Right, because not a, all yeah, of our audience that's are a good, great. Right, right, that's a so good can point. Can you explain uh, in a in a layman's term what a creative <laughs> okay, so studio is? What we do in the creative studio is um, purely visual communication. So um, we we execute like creative uh, execution. Let's say if magnem pa design mo. Some example na. Pa design ka og brochure okay mo buhat mi brochure but mm. um or magpa branding ka we do branding so from simple design to complex um, visual communication request sa among client among i produce like content sa social media okay so mag produce gid me not just uh, so it's is it video photos all of them photos yeah, video okay. so except events with do you, do you do like an, uh, do you do like uh you know uh, how do how does it work? Like, do you do like a campaign and in, within this campaign, like for example, uh, what we do is we collaborate with mm-hmm. people na mo come up with campaign. So, mm-hmm. um, because lean man mga team, we can't really make a, a full scale campaign. Right. So limited dermi sa visual sa visuals, limited dermi sa more na mong capacity na mo execute. So you don't use metrics, for example, to say like this is this is what we do for a client. And um na ami na ami for example na ami measurement gyapon say na may uban clients na specific siya nga social media ra gyud right so among i measure ang among gi produce na content if kanang it's doing well sa social media mm. so marag, but how do you do that like you don't have control you don't have the view for the insights na ami control sometimes okay mm. mo, if mo request a si client but we prefer na wala may um access sa ilang pages right. why is that um, accountability mo guna siya. So like for example, if something happens, right? Uh, not not necessarily, but kwan siya mo if kami ay mo publish, kami ay mo manage, like if na ay mo message na mo as the company or as the client, di mo makatubag directly good. Mm. Because we don't know the the nature of the oh, kabaw mas na nature sa business, but the technicalities yeah. of their business. You is, might say something yeah, that's basic pila ni yung price ngano ngin ani ngano wala may mga ganon ah yeah yeah oh, well, specific of so, the business uh, and listen sa chat because customer service yeah go, uh, customer point. service mga chat so it adds another layer of communication responsibility as well listen chat responsibility per se but it adds another layer of communication between the consumer and the client uh, the the brand uh. so instead of derecho consumer to brand moagi pa namo which moadto pa mismo client uh, unsa yeah, mo yeah. so yeah, moaja instead of maka answer si client si brand in Directly. just a minute directly 
Mwagi pa siya namo and then yeah, mo umma pa umma pa katubag di ba so yeah yeah back and forth so kapoy siya so but we magpasahe magpaad me as admin not to manage the site but, but to suppose. to look at the insights right ah okay so qu- question but you're now you're you're not, but you're not limited to social media you also do like billboards things like that no Daghanjud ka ayo gid. Anything that create uh, any Basta like bish, anything visual. visual. Oh, anything so, visual. So, dali, dali. Video, video. Yeah, video. Maybe. Yeah, maybe uh, just to give a clear idea with our get, uh, our audiences, maybe we could uh, post a few of your examples. No, give us a yeah, link yeah. later. Right. We'll post it on our show notes link. Uh, that's yeah. the big picture. That ph slash. Is it in your page? Episode it, thirty-six. Um, some of your projects. There. Wala me nag-upload kaya di mo kami updated sa mo Facebook. I don't know if nagan awa kung mga white brick friends. But, but you do have. <laughs> but you do have like frequent events, right? With, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, every month we have an event in white brick sa mo studio. Uh, but different na siya, delete na siya re- in related to um, design. Oh, uh, bas ko na siya support na siya sa creative community. Like it's a f- tomorrow na mi film showing like in an in, indie film showing mm. tomorrow. And before, na mga talk, mga workshops. So, more sa support to gija sa right. sa community. Is is it like how, why did you decided to do that? Is it something like who decided who decided to do that? Kami um before we we made white break, we decided na um dapat kita mo give back sa community. Right. So dapat ang since naman tay daku nga studio, mm. right. daku nga space, makakomodate man ng singkwinta ka tao. So why oh, not wow. make Uh, an event every month. So, muna mo challenge mo self nga. Dapat natay creative events every month whether unsa pa na siya It's ka. It's open for the public. Yes, no? and then the we event. always welcome anyone. No? Hey, if na kay na hon an event ato sa studio then It's free. Wow, it's it's become a became a hub already like. Yeah, so muna mo ang goal nga ang hub is dili siya dili siya kailangan um more sa tawag ni nga nang co-working space yeah. but it could be our design studio. Pwede sad kamo. Right now, now in line with that, no, because you you have this business, right? And of course, it it needs clients. Like uh, oh, yeah, you yeah. you've mentioned, you cater to local clients. Yeah, yeah. So how do you market your product? And you've mentioned you don't even update your Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, is is that one way of you getting clients, like the the hub thing, or do you have your own marketing team or cold calling or what? What do you do? Oh, um, fortunately, wala pa gid na naabot sa point na ni cold call me. Uh. So it. Kwaja like friends uh, referrals. referrals mas dako gid ang chunk, chunk sa referrals and uh, what we do sa white break is dili me updated sa mga own pages but um, kami as an individual saba ah, me I see I see so yeah. like uh, white break white break white break siguro mig mention ng white break niya amo ang mga projects nga ganahan mi amo post and then from our from in, your from personal, personal pages yeah so um, mga tao mo na nga unsa din yung gibuhat so o oh, sige magmeet ta then They had, they had so dili gid siya cold call dili siya um, pushing a marketing mm. so you haven't technically sell like basically like sending yeah. out something wala pa gid wala pa are you, are you like uh, going out in like expos wala sad wala sad fortunately oh, wala pa minabot ana maybe kung mo deplete na mga clients maabot na so hopefully uh, like, uh, give us an idea like, for uh, <laughs> Creative studio. So, how many clients do you maintain, or do you like what's that? What's what's it like? How how like how many are you in your team probably, and how, uh, like how how many clients would it need to sustain uh, that number of people? Kwanja, right now, so our team, uh, nami sa 10, 11, uh, including. Yeah, I've heard you've got interns as well, right? right yeah, <laughs> katung katung pag uh, pila ka months ago, naabot gin mig 20 ka book, including sa mong 10 ka interns, but. They were they they were a great help actually. Thank you interns. <laughs> Watch this interns. <laughs> so Kwanja, um, we, we we keep a, a very tight um, clientele. Mm. So we maintain uh, lima ra clients, but uh, we always uh, maintain a good relationship with them. So um, projects mo balik balik ah balik, uh, uh, recurring so, na. Um, dilik gid dilik man kayo mi mo go outside good na, basing ma uncomfortable mi with other clients. But, mm. uh, mo is Um, among clients is friends na pud sila. Oh yeah. So like, like we, we maintain Building a good relationship. Yeah, good right? relationship gid siya. So tagaan masalig na sila namo to the point na tagaan na may autonomy, creative autonomy. Uh, Bay ganahan ko ginani. 
So okay, unsa man imong ganahan? Come on, lay bahala so. All right. So nice. na naabot na miss to right? that level na na I trust. So we Do they, don't they have like their own marketing team or something? A uh, social media manager. Na na sila mga some of our clients na yung marketing team. So ang among kastorya ang marketing, marketing team. team. Uh-huh. Nasa may client na direct to the owner. Yeah, so, yeah. Nasa so, may client na direct to the owner owner. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah. I have a yeah. Do you oh, yeah, like uh, how how does it? I just want to figure out how does it work the business sense of it. Like so, uh, for example, I'm a client. I go to you, like uh, I just want to have like a video, perhaps something, right? And after that, it's by project. You pay, you get paid by the project or uh, depends depending on the client's need. And I'm going to forecast. Say, for example, um, we we ma notice them or ma observe them or based from the conversation with the client, mana sila nga na I need nga recur gitcha. So I'm oh, nice. offeran og Retainers. Do you angle it always that way so that they will really recur? All the um, time? not all the time. Not, not all the time. time. But it, it's very likely that you can yeah. angle it in a yeah. way that they will. Re- Actually, it's very important to really um, talk to your client or understand their needs because if bagpataka lang ka, let's say you really want money, so imong oh, it push ng retainers, yeah, retainers. Yeah. Tanaw ni mo ang capacity like eleven or mika books sa studio and then na mo like twenty ka book retainers yeah. patay gud ka. Yeah. So, it's a bit strategic in the in the business sense. So, um, sometimes one ako okay per project lang niya. You have to really profile your client. Mm. So, if kas ka afford ba niya, kaya ba niya, kay you're not you're not there to to lose the business sa imong client, but yeah. imo siyang ipa lambo eh. So they grow, exactly. you grow, yeah. diba? you grow with them, they grow with you. So, um, I guess it's very important to really profile the client before you sell them something. So you something. say no a lot of times as well. Or yes. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Interesting. Um, can now you've been operating for some time now. You've met a lot of clients. Um, you you basically handled cash flow and all that. If there are, if if you can name like three things that like best business practice that you you have you've followed to the to the letter, what what would it be? Um, actually, I can only name two. Because important, it okay. Yeah, okay, right. train na lang. Okay. Train na lang. okay, so one is trust. You have to trust your crew, you have to trust your partners, trust everyone. So, so including na transparent kanila because you trust them. Next is competence. So, dapat um, surround yourself with competent crew, competent partners, competent team. Okay, otherwise, the your service will fail. Good job. Lastly, is enthusiasm. So, dapat enthusiastic ng tao. You have the same um, level of enthusiasm with your not only with your employees but also with your partners. Uh, to the point na okay, mahappy ka nga malimpyo mo sa studio. <laughs> so, like, like enthusiastic lang ba? Right. So, muna siyang three. I, I went to your your office inside your stip. I went to your office <laughs> many times, right? And I always feel this sense of I would say joy, you know? They they are very feel happy. The creativity. Yeah, I've seen I mean, the picture actually. Yeah, but so, well, if you go there, they're they're laughing all the time. <laughs> like, how do you maintain that? You know, I mean, I mean, the, like, yeah, the joy. you know, it's it's like if you go there, there's like so much. It's it looked like to me, you know, going. I though I stay there like for only like maybe thirty minutes max. I mean, that thirty minute gives me a, a really good impression in terms of like your relationship with with your crew, with your people, right? With with the with people you work with. They're they're kind of like just laughing and like I don't know. Sometimes yeah. even I even overhear that you're talking about problems and then you laugh at it like yeah. the, all of you guys. So I, how does how did it work? Koansa, it's it's very important to koansa be real, be real yeah. to each other. Like if ako like if if I talk business, I talk business like straight business gita. Mm. But if I'm not talking about business, so like linga good. So everyone like would joke. So muna, uh, I always call the studio Switzerland of everything. So uh, sensitive topics like religion, gender. So we we are always open to discussing these things. So that's the first question I ask uh, an applicant. So are you comfortable with um, this right. this kinds of topics or discussion? So okay ra ka masungugan ka, okay ra ka makasungog. So um, the 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 best uh, the best decision now uh, we decide uh, we did. Is to make the management uh, horizontal. So they let me like who I they they say I'm the managing director, but I act as a managing director. I manage cash flow. I manage clients, but that doesn't mean I'm the I'm the only big boss there. 
So kita tanan parehas. We're we're, we're uh, horizontal. So um, even the employees can joke around. Pidi ko nila binuangan. They can always be frank at me nga batian na uy or mar kurni kika, di ba? So mar that keeps you grounded as well. Yes, it's very humbling na maka storya sila nako. So dili ka exud mo sa room. Mohilom sila. <laughs> Kem hard look, diba? So uh, I, I always keep a very positive um, environment. So. How do you how do you do that? Because like we have a lot of business owners who are also listening now, and they they would like to have that, you know, transparency and Culture. there's still respect, yeah. right? There's still yeah. respect, but then there's still that openness. How do you yeah. how do you make that culture? Ko ano siguro? Just um, just be grounded. Don't keep your head up high. More than that, because if you if you how do you start that? Like if if you have an employee, for, let's say for example, I'm a new hire. And I would just, I'm used to a, a culture wherein, like, you know, the boss is the boss is the boss, right? Mm. So, I mean to say, like, if you're there, I'm, I need to, like, mm. always have my best foot forward. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Everything stuck in. Uh, like, how do, you, how do you make me loosen up? Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it just comes naturally. Okay. Or you don't hire those people. Though. I mean, those people are, like... Among uptight, oh. mga mga ask users ay daw di siya because I, I I always profile my employees put na like right. if they apply di sila I ask the very very kanang simple questions if um, if maingon sila nga na ma but you know ma profile mo gani mo pinsa mga suck ups yeah like kanang uh, mura kanang pleaser kay ba mm-hmm. so I, I don't really hire those people na mura the moment I look at them na ko inkling na mura uh, this so guy. What's wrong so, with pe- pleasers? So, um, they will say, "Please, sir, hire me." <laughs> Please, sir, hire me. Mona, <laughs> because they'll, you know, what's wrong with them? Um, they, they will, they will always be a yes man. Ah, okay. So the problem with yes man is, whatever you say, my is like yes, just to please you as a boss. So they always treat you as a boss because they're a yes man. So if mo dis mo kabawon sila mo say no, meaning to say they have their own opinion. So I really like to uh, work with opinionated people. So if mayon sila, makabaw sila mayon sila. No, di ko ganahan na nai, dita parehas o ganahan. So it's it's very murag human ba? Like, because mm. we we we're, we're different like lain, yeah, lain exactly, preference. Exactly. So if pagsigis yung ingon na yes yes yes, but then at sa imong back pagsigis ko bati ato niya gusto. So gilibak na kaso mm. nana siya. Na na barrier ba nga. Right. So hindi na siya open, hindi na siya transparent. Hindi yeah, na siya uh, authentic, right? Hindi na siya authentic. So I I really uh, enjoy working with people na kana masay no get like they, they have their own opinions. Okay. So like, do you uh, always like for all the people that you hire in the company, do you always interview them you or like is someone else? Because it looks like to me you're like you're the uh, like HR the HR <laughs> culture guy. Um ako now. for now, yeah. for now ako, yeah. but yeah, I, I, it's always me. Okay, sometimes ma, I'm very particular with the people na musud sa, sa studio. Okay. Right, right. Okay, if I'm not saying that dili ka mawag ang mga team, but they they know. But particular lang ko. Um, uh, sometimes na ano may mga friends nila nga um uh, mo apply or um, mo kong interview hon. So wow, that's so difficult. That's so hard. No? Yeah, bisan Knowing their, their friends. Oh, bisan pag friends nila. <laughs> Tano ako nga. Okay, di, ni siya mo work for. Uh, di di, di gid siya di siya compatible. So, may ngon jigong anas jigong nga dili niya pa hindi. Like uh, for me, it's like uh, hiring the A people, like you know the the, right. the really good people uh, mm-hmm. and your great people in your team. So, how, like my next question is, how are you able to maintain those people to stay with you? Or, or do you have like a turnaround, or have you been stuck with uh, great people all throughout? Did they quit or what? Someone. Um. Actually, to be honest, you can't really stop this. Yeah, people, people too. You, you can't really control. Uh, the moment na imo nang i mention nga, how do you keep these people from leaving? Yeah. That's the time you get mura na kag authoritarian. Ah, I see. Because if management good, it's it's very tricky. So listen if, to this manager. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> this is good, huh? Yeah. So how do you do it? Imo nang like, like just you, you just leave. you just allow them to leave. Let's imohan ng responsibility as a manager nga. Imo silang ipag grow. You don't stop them from growing. So, are you talking as a manager or as a business owner? Both. Yeah. So both gina siya because business owner ka, you're not actually just running your business. Actually, you're managing the people 
uh, inside your yeah, business. Exactly. Managing is really so, tricky, right? Um, yeah, managing is really tricky. tricky. But what so, if what if someone will quit like uh, in the middle of a project or something? What do you do? Like, do you have a contingency for that? Always, nagi kay contingency. Uh, nagi kay back up like plan A. Dagan kay letters sa alphabet. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. dagan dagan kay back up. So but when the time comes, na mo leave gina siya. Um, you have to be ready to roll up your sleeves and do the hard do work. the do the dirty work. Do so the dirty work. Uh, even driving or like kuhag cheque or like palit of grocery, oh. you have to be ready to do that. If if you're in the bis- you're doing your own business, diba? So even like cleaning the floor, you have to be ready to do that because right. um, these people are good. They have their own plans. They have their own you know lives to lives to live. So dili man mo control nga. How do I keep these people from leaving? I'm like, uh, it's, it's very interesting what you're saying because you know, I've been in a mani- management position for five years uh, before I left mm. the, the corporate altogether. And a lot of the discussion that we have is how do we retention. keep people yeah. from leaving? Th- because that's actually like retention like, rate is, you know, is like going up and down. It's and very sometimes expensive. It's through, yeah. yeah. I mean, like... Um, Training someone is very expensive. It's very expensive. Hiring yes. is very expensive. Yes. Also, it, it takes a lot of like uh, the energy and the, the money to just you know to uh, like it, your business literally pauses if you right. don't have people. Yeah, yeah and then you know, now now you have uh, benefits such as like um, additional leaves, yeah. meals in mm-hmm. the company. I you, I don't know if you pro- but like you know it, it's just because we want to. Like business owners, company owners really want to please their people so yeah. to keep them from leaving. Yeah. To top, to top, it on all to put an icing to the cake. The, the problem now is that we have a, a generation called the millennials <laughs> who, who can't stay put. <laughs> We're still part of it. <laughs> right. I'm not. I I, I just <laughs> learned that I'm I'm not part of millennials anymore. I'm not complaining, but I I I'm a very observant person in terms of like you know how. How people think, and in terms of how they think about their employment, I, I really observe these things, and and it's just because maybe I, I have a management background uh, for for five years, and we talk about this like like people leave. How can we stop them from leaving? There was even a point wherein like if your people keep on leaving, there's something wrong with you because of the quotation that says they don't leave jobs, they leave. Managers, yeah. right? Oh. So I don't know if you actually. It, it depends on the environment you you you, you want to set in the company. So, um, that will philosophy. Good. The more you control, let's say, the more you mention that uh, this is a very um, open. Uh, the, uh, this is a very kind of uh, good culture company. The more you mention that, the more it. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> yeah. Let's say, for example, you're just uh, faking this thing. Uh, you're for just example, painting a point. For example, yeah. you you make uh, a nga. Okay, this is a we are a community, diba? Diba? But then again, the the, the buzzwords, the, 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 yeah, the buzzwords. The very mention of the word community alienates the people outside the community. Yeah, yeah. So, diba? Like, um, we are a creative culture. We are a creative community, and then that is a community. And then, what about the people outside the so, community? So, so like people. Okay, this is a good this is a good discussion. I'd like to let go further about this if you give. <laughs> so, so people would say. Use terms such as this is a family, this is a community, and you're saying that the more we do this, there's actually a backfire. Yes. Um, Kwanja, you don't have to say it, just do it. Show it. Show it. Show it, yes. Yeah. So, no, no, say don't. So, you don't say we have a very open. You're welcome here. Okay. Right. The, 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 I think this is why you, when you entered their office, that's how, how you felt. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. that's exactly that's so, how okay. powerful so culture I hope, is. So, I hope uh, people who are listening to this, this is actually how you manage millennials. <laughs> like, this is how you, how you create a culture where yeah. if you want people to stay, don't tell them, I want you to stay. And that's why I'm giving you this. <laughs> yeah. And this, you're just basically creating a prison cell yeah. of good stuff. Let me, I mean, if, if I were to... to to uh, elaborate further, it's like a prison cell made of candy bars, you know, you know. <laughs> but it's, nef- it's a prison cell, nevertheless, nonetheless, right? And people still feel choked. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it seems like you also, you know, have a very well understanding of people, of uh, especially right. the younger ones. Can, can you, you know, how, wh- why why are you able to relate to them? Is that because you're a teacher or what? Okay. Um, uh, first, I'm a millennial, so. <laughs> I understand their, the way they mu- mu- think. Sila. Second, I am a very observant person as well. So I, I gain insights from the people I see, observe, even like Canada Race or Cafe, even you observe. Ko. Um, 
and but also it's it, uh, the main reason na I I I I get insights on how to manage people because kana I I I teach in San Carlos and these new generations have a different perspective in life. So uh, so can you elaborate? What are the, <laughs> yeah, the different things? And then because I'm I'm just excited about this. Yeah. Millennials, please listen. To this. <laughs> okay, right. uh, I'm not. I'm not absolute. I'm not certain. Not generalizing. Okay. We're not generalizing okay. so or anything. Disclaimer lang. So I'm not generalizing anything. But from what I see, um, these millennials uh, actually want to do something meaningful. Meaningful. So um, it's gone are the days na let's say kita mo trabaho ta just for, for money, just for money, for career, for growth. These people they don't really care about money. They they care about something meaningful na let's say uh, likes, oh, like, not likes, <laughs> not likes. Let's <laughs> say for example, for example, for example. Uh, Heart. Uh, there's an event, diba? Mag- okay. mag- event. So despite na wala wala financial or, or any compensation mm. sa pag volunteer nila sa ilang event, but the, the but the mere fact na they're involved in that certain event, yeah, yeah. I'm happy sila. I I wanna work. Wanna sila like like thinking, but I wanna work with that event. Kay I'm part of that event. Yeah. Like I'm part right. of that team. So dili siya mag- I wanna the work. Contribution. The contribution. I actually noticed that a lot. Yeah, yeah me too. Because um, like um, a lot of them are they want to be part of the brand or uh, a company yeah. or be, just hang out with that crowd, right. no? Yeah. To like yeah, I don't know. It it has a sense of uh yeah, it, feel, it makes you feel alive, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, like um so we we interviewed one of the people that we interviewed here is a, a lady named Ivy Ruth. Yeah, Ivy. And Ivy, if you're watching, I'm sorry I didn't tell you that I'm gonna say this, but um, Ivy actually like, maintains a community of freelancers oh. that does teach people freelancing for free, and they all spend chill out like whatever they do from their own pocket. They don't need like a big corp- corporation to really do that. And I'm I I me because I'm not a millennial. I'm puzzled with like why are you doing this? <laughs> and she said like it's just because people just want to give back. Yeah, I think you're 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 you know you're taking this the wrong way because here in our podcast we're not getting paid for this, right? We're just <laughs> we're, you know right. we're, we're giving it out. You're well. right. I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying that we're not yeah, we're, we're not doing, giving something. But I'm trying to say is like that 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 drive is is getting more and more common with, yeah. with with a lot of younger people because they want to be part of something big yeah. and something significant. Yeah. yeah. So Mona, like um, um, a lot um, some of our employees uh, white break a because they want to be something part of uh, they want to be part of something uh, or a, or a game changing yeah yeah so exactly. Ariana, like, um, since, okay white brick is a new company um, unorthodox kay methods uh. like um, people kay lagpas kami wala mi wala mi time time in time out so oh really yeah wala mi time <laughs> and you only work <laughs> but the, the office is only uh, like Available for the morning morning schedule, oh, yeah, or yeah. is it 24 hours or something? 24 hours. Depending right? on that, kung kana ano yung trabaho dito sa studio. So you go like any time of the day you can work. Yeah, kwa man siya. Um, it's it's output based, so we don't really saying okay your task, mora na yung task, and then stay ka for eight okay. hours. They can even work outside. They can even work outside. So awesome. muna, I I I I always try to maintain nga mo laptop kita nang tao, mm. so they can work. At home, right. they can Makes work sense. during shoot. Okay, among 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 projects, magood is dili magood siya. Marami siya sixty percent offsite. Oh, and then twenty percent naglingkod, ten percent something something, and then uban kaya nagchill ra. Diba? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of offsite, uh, I believe you will need a team for that as well. Like, uh, let's say shoot shooting a video that's part of your service. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. So you hire out people, or is it? Yeah, what, what um, for for big projects good na like it, it requires kind of heavy technicals good mm. so video production we we have a partner eight times so nara sa among studio na sa babaw so, <laughs> same as the building so we always collaborate with them for big projects uh, but if kwana na siya like uh, for the monthly retainers na mo uh, so clients like na for social digital media lang, lang digital lang uh, so we can we can do it ourselves we have the equipment we have the skills with the people so i think wow okay na siya Oh, nice. so that's why kung mag nice shoot, wag ito sa studio. Oh, na <laughs> yeah. So na nag shoot nito na. Right. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, maybe uh, let's uh, my final question. I guess. Oh, yeah, final question. Yeah. Like, uh, what's like the future of you or White Brick? Like, how do you see this company in the next three, five years, perhaps? Hopefully not close. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. What's your big vision for this? Yeah. Um, 
it's it's very simple. We, uh, we really want to put Visayas Bismin creative in the map. So we we don't want to compete with Manila. We don't want to mm. compete with like with the world. We just want uh, Bismin to get noticed. So we're like, I think like my clients, my wanna ah nasa day in Anisa Cebu, and then we also want to be as like aspiring, aspirational. So for example, you're a creative person, graduate camera. I want to be like them. Mm. So we're like, it doesn't have to be I want to work with them or I want to work for them, but the I want to be like them. Oh, so like, I want to make my own studio. I mean, competition is good. Yeah. It's always good. So Lions gig will like competition, right? Yeah. So it's always good in my competition, but we don't really treat these people as competi- competitors, but rather we treat them as friends. Right? So um, we want to be an aspiration to these individuals, to these creatives. Right? Um, we want to be part of this industry we want to be part of this revolution so because kami di good me again we're not getting any younger so at some point we go on our different lives different ways different business perhaps so maybe sila ang follow yeah also, just to add on to that uh, i think i've met some previous episode one person one of our guests mentioned that most of the services are offered from manila not not I mean, you know luzon it's probably safi I think Safi, right? Yeah. So uh, hi, Safi. So <laughs> not <laughs> not necessarily from Cebu. So that's good that we're, we're starting that here, yeah. putting Cebu on the map. And I think that's it for me. Yeah. So we normally end this portion of the program of Very the show yeah. with our takeaways. Okay. Right? By the way, there's like three portions, of, no, two portions of the show, right? So. Okay. The, so this okay. is where Dave and I would, would talk about what we, we learned from you, from okay. your story. Okay, Dave, we'd like to start. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, uh, he might not mention this, but actually psycho- understanding psychology of people, it's very important. I mean, uh, being observant, it's always mentioned in both of these guys. So being observant of uh, how people, like what, what makes people, you know, be Thick, you know, basically, I don't want to say thick, but like how, how, how to make them like, you know, be part of a culture of a, and not necessarily just saying that, you know, this is a business, this is a community, whatever. Just show it to them, not necessarily. Make like, them feel. Make them feel like when you enter yeah. mezzanine or something, <laughs> you feel the, the culture, right? right. So, uh, like, you know, like when you go to Kermit Surf in Charco, you like you feel the you feel, the you culture, feel right? surfy. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for Smoking me. Nice. It's okay. <laughs> for me, one um, is is really choice. Uh, so a couple of things. One is choice. I mean to say, um, let me reference that from your story when you said like one of my choice is to build a business, and I'd like this to become a message to people who are listening to this that you always have a choice. Um, you don't always have to go back to that same thing. Um, if you don't like your job, you have a choice. You can build a business. You can build a side business. And that's what I'd like because, because I feel like there's still, I know people, Filipinos are uh, very business minded, but you know, building a business is, is something that needs to happen more and more, right? I mean, I mean that that makes the the whole economy go round, but it also gives really uh, real meaning to people who are working um, day to day. Uh, second thing is I love the way you talk about your your company culture. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of when you say it 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 is really false. So it's kind of really interesting uh, because because it's true because it's true. Uh, the more you said like we're in uh, open door policy culture. No time in, time out. <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah, I mean, if you, the people would say if you're an open door policy, for example, I notice that people never really come to you. And they don't really practice that because, I don't know, there's something, something menacing. Or I'm going to hidden agenda. Right, there's something menacing underneath, right? Quad me, open door policy me. You had an evil laugh in the back, <laughs> right? Try to open that door. <laughs> All right, so um, I, I, and I really like that is because I have a management, I, I used to be a manager, and I hope people who are managing people now will listen to that portion, or the, whole, the whole podcast, but listen to that portion because it will teach you a lot about how to handle the, the millennials, the working people of the day, because 
we're all gonna be dealing with that personality and mindset for the next 20 to 30, even 40 years from now. All right. I hope that's profound. <laughs> we move on to our <laughs> lightning round. Lightning round. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this right. is where we will ask you a series, series of, of questions. questions and you will have to answer it very quickly so we can get to know you better. Okay. <laughs> okay. The first question is. Uh, go. What's the first one? Uh, uh, daily routine. Like, what? What's the, what does your day look like? Yeah. You know. Do you have a daily routine? Daily yeah. routine? Yeah. yeah. Um, shit. Take a bath. <laughs> No waking up time, no, just whenever you like. Oh, yeah, I have one. Uh, after breakfast nap. Okay. After breakfast nap. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do that and you'll be successful. <laughs> okay. Uh, my Who or what one. inspires you? Yeah. If there's anything, book or, yeah. Maybe Richard Branson. Richard Branson. No? Richard Branson. Why? Why? Can I, like, just. Who is Richard Branson and why? Um, he's the CEO of a uh, Virgin, Virgin Company, so, Quancha. Um, his business is his people. Mm. So, Mareg, like, Amazing. your business is nice. your people. Your people is your business, Muna. Yeah. Okay. So, siya inspiration. Right. Uh, do you consider yourself successful? Nope. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not even not yet. Nope. Never, ever. <laughs> so, it's like a continuous struggle, yeah. right? Right. It so, doesn't have to expound that. You have to connect with you to ask <laughs> more about that. <laughs> Next question. Next so question. a lot of the people that we're watching he here now are, you know, OFWs who are, you know, outside the country. They want to go home. And or they're stuck with their 9 to 5 job. Yeah, they want to go home and they need some, some guidance. Or they're stuck in their 9 to 5 job that they don't like because some people actually like, like it. So there are people that they don't like because there's like, maybe there's a business itch that they need to, to scratch. What can you... How can you help them? Or what's your tip? Or what's your tip? Oh, just be brave. Wow. Be brave. Awesome. That's it. Uh, my last, the last question. The last question. Most Dave. difficult one. Yeah, the most difficult. <laughs> one. Where can people find you? <laughs> like online. online. Yeah. What's, the what's the best way? What's the best way to, to reach, you? reach you? Personally or like white Personally break? Yeah, or white break everything. White break. Uh, you can follow us. This on, is the time you plug. Okay, uh, white break. You can follow white break on Instagram. It's we are uh, we are white break. And you can find us on Facebook as well, uh, right. White Brick. Um, you can follow my Twitter or Instagram, Punyeta. Yes. <laughs> look me up. Him. Sorry. So you can look me up, follow me. I don't know. Follow me with um, follow at risk. <laughs> follow at risk. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank <right>. you. <laughs> so those all of those links will be found in our show notes page. <laughs> that will be the big picture .ph slash episode thirty six and. This has been a wonderful uh, interview. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> I, lo I learned a lot. I learned that you're oh, yeah. called Punyeta. <laughs> but that's, that's Punyeta, right? That's Pun underscore Yeta. Yeah, right. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Jude, thank you so much yes, for, sure. for being here. We really enjoy yeah, you know, really talking appreciate to it, you. Yeah. And guys, you know, if you if you want to, please share this this live feed. And, you know, this will be available, I think, all throughout, right? And but we'll, ha we'll have a special release in iTunes, YouTube, Facebook, Stitcher, Spotify, and wherever <laughs> podcast yeah, is so video? being yeah. listened to. Oh, okay. Video, yeah. yeah. So also audio. So and audio also. And we're thinking of like uh, improving the show as well. Maybe adding uh, intro, outro. Or, yeah. <laughs> or, or a dance number. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. Dance but number. <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> With the fireworks. But I hope you, you really enjoy the show. And, you know, can please... Uh, subscribe to the Big Picture Podcast in, in our YouTube page and our Facebook channel. Guys, thank you so much. This, is, this has been a great, great interview with Jude. My name is Joe. My name is Dave. And we are signing out. How about Jude? How about Jude? <laughs> My name is Jude. <laughs> We're signing, signing out. out.